people seem to think that you can create wealth and make money through work. And it's probably not going to work. There are many reasons for that. But the most basic is just that your inputs are very closely tied to your outputs. In almost any salaried job, even a one that's paying a lot per hour, like a lawyer or a doctor, you're still putting in the hours and every hour you get paid. So what that means is when you're sleeping, you're not earning. When you're retired, you're not earning. When you're on vacation, you're not earning. And you can't earn non-linearly. If you look at even doctors who get rich, like really rich, it's because they open a business. They open like a private practice and that private practice builds a brand and that brand attracts people or they build some kind of a medical device or a procedure or a process where they have intellectual property. So essentially you're working for somebody else and that person is taking on the risk and has the accountability and the intellectual property and the brand. So they're just not going to pay you enough. They're going to pay you the bare minimum that they have to to get you to do the job. And that can be a high bare minimum, but it's still not going to be true wealth where you're retired. And then finally, you're actually just not even creating new things for society. You're just doing things over and over. And you're essentially replaceable because you're now doing a set role. Most set roles can be taught. If they can be taught, like in a school, then eventually you will be competing with someone who's got more recent knowledge, who's been taught and is coming in to replace you. You're much more likely to be doing a job that can be eventually replaced by a robot or by an AI. And it doesn't even have to be wholesale replaced overnight. It can be replaced a little bit of a time and that eats into your wealth creation and therefore your earning capability. So fundamentally, your inputs are matched to your outputs, you're replaceable and you're not being creative. I just don't think that that is a way that you can truly make money. So everybody who really makes money at some point owns a piece of a product or a business or some kind of IP. That can be through stock options. So if you can be working at a tech company, that's a fine way to start. But usually the real wealth is created by starting your own companies or by you know even investors, they're in an investment firm and they're buying equity. So these are much more the routes to wealth. It doesn't come to the hours. You really just want a job or a career or a profession where your inputs don't match your outputs. So if you look at modern society, businesses that have high creativity and high leverage tend to be one ones where you could do an hour of work and it can have a huge effect or you can do a thousand hours of work and it can have no effect. For example, look at software engineering. One great engineer can, for example, create Bitcoin and create billions of dollars worth of value. An engineer who's working on the wrong thing or not quite as good or just not as creative or thoughtful or whatever can work for a, an entire year and every piece of code they ship ends up not getting used. Customers don't want it. That is an example of a profession where the input and the outputs are highly disconnected. It's not based on the number of hours that you put in. Whereas on the extreme other end, if you're a lumberjack, even the best lumberjack in the world, assuming they're not working with tools, so the inputs and outputs are pretty connected, they're just using an axe or a saw, the best lumberjack in the world may be like 3x better than one of the worst lumberjacks, right? It's not going to be a gigantic difference. So you want to look for professions and careers where the inputs and the outputs are highly disconnected. This is another way of saying that you want to look for things that are leveraged. And by leverage, I don't mean financial leverage alone, like Wall Street uses, and that has a bad name. I'm just talking about tools. We're using tools. Computer is a tool that software engineers use. If I'm a lumberjack with bulldozers and automatic robot axes and saws, I'm going to be using tools and have more leverage than someone who's just using his bare hand and trying to rip the trees out by their roots. Tools and leverage are what create this disconnection between inputs and outputs. Creativity. So the higher the creativity component of a profession, the more likely it is to have disconnected inputs and outputs. So I think that if you're looking at professions where your inputs and your outputs are highly connected, it's going to be very, very, very hard to create wealth and make wealth for yourself.